car behind me is the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. The third of 36 total Ferrari GTOs. This Ferrari is one of the most significant Ferraris ever built, bar none. There's no more beautiful example of Ferrari's competitiveness, engineering, design that it remains today in such exquisite, outstanding condition, never been wrecked, never been seriously damaged, retains almost all of its original components. It's an amazing feat just that it survived this long, been raced so competitively, and is presented today as you see it. here in Bellevue, Washington at the garage of Dr. Greg Witten. Dr. Witten has consigned the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO chassis 3413 to our Monterey auction. This marks the first occasion that RM Sotheby's has ever sold something of this value and of this impact in the collector car community. I am very happy that I bought the GTO. Definitely my favorite of all the Ferrari GT race cars. It's just a remarkable car. Inspecting an old Ferrari is a particular exciting thing. This car offers lots of little details that no other GTO has. 95% or more of the original bodywork is still on this car. A car that is 56 years old. It is also a very well documented car with zero gaps in terms of history, not just with photographs, but also with old registration documents. Also very important exceptional owners from the very first. American Formula One world champion Phil Hill, a true legend in the Ferrari world, raced and practiced this car for the Scuderia Ferrari in the Targa Florio before it was sold by Ferrari to the first private owner. Italian race hero Eduardo Lualdi Gabardi. In 1963 Gianni Bulgari, a very well-known Italian name, bought the car from Eduardo Lualdi. He raced it a few times including at the Targa Florio. And then in 64, it was raced again at the Targa Florio by the next owner, Corrado Forlino. And both times, the car won its class. The Targa Florio is one of the most brutal and demanding race. I mean, this is a road race in Sicily. Expect a little Fiat 500 in front of you when you turn around the corner at 200 kilometers an hour or a cow standing in the middle of the road and you have to circumvent this cow. So uh, this is a big challenge and it's uh, therefore a car with an exceptional uh, race history. Almost all Ferraris are absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to find one that isn't, but for obvious reasons, the GTO is sort of the definition of that beauty combined with purposeful design. The Ferrari 250 GTO can be considered as the last dual-purpose Ferrari. You could basically go practice Friday, Saturday, win the race on Sunday, and then Monday morning you go back to your office in the GTO. This car started life as a Series 1 GTO with a normal Scaglietti Berlinetta body. For the 1964 season, it was rebodied by the Ferrari factory into this current uh, Series 2 configuration. On this particular car, the roof section is unique. It's more rounded, it's longer than on other Series 2 250 GTOs. I think one of the things about most GTOs that strike people is just the overall bodywork, the coachwork. And this Series 2 body incorporates a lot of the racing elements that were being utilized on the 250LM, which was a bit more of a single purpose race car. I have a 250LM and I like the style of the Series 2. You know, it's a very, very similar body style that was done on purpose by Ferrari when they made the Series 2 cars to have an aerodynamic design and a little more muscular stance to match up with their prototype cars that they were racing at the time. I think the GTOs are amongst the most successful Ferraris ever and very rarely comes up for sale. The 250 GTO Owners Club is virtually a who's who of the world's top, top, top Ferrari collector. This is a super exclusive club, 36 people can be members. From the 20th anniversary of the GTO, there's been a tour organized by the owners every five years. In 2002, you know, I went on my first GTO reunion, and that was just a fantastic event. 
People always ask us, do collectors really use these cars? Do they really drive these cars? Well, Dr. Witten is a perfect example of someone who has actively campaigned the car, shown it, used it, raced it, driven it, and one of the great aspects, even in the sale of the car, is the fact that it's being done so in a public atmosphere. This is an unprecedented moment in auction history in many ways, and it's an unbelievable honor to be associated with the car, with Dr. Witten. I've been doing this for over two decades, and this is unquestionably the most exciting car I've ever had the chance to work with.